This video will define and explain the concept of price elasticity of supply, demonstrate how to calculate price elasticity of supply, and explain the range of values of price elasticity of supply. So what is price elasticity of supply? Basically, price elasticity of supply measures the sensitivity or the responsiveness of quantity supplied to changes in price along a given supply curve. So it's a measure of how much quantity supply responds to changes in price. Is it very sensitive and responsive to changes in price or is it not? This is what price elasticity of supply measures. Price elasticity of supply is calculated using this formula. So price elasticity of supply equals percentage change in quantity supplied divided by percentage change in price. Symbolically, this is how we represent it. Percentage change in quantity supplied divided by percentage change in price. Now the top part of this formula is calculated, which is the percentage change in quantity supplied, is calculated by taking the new quantity supplied, QS2, minus the old quantity supplied, QS1, divided by the old quantity supplied, times 100. This will give you the top part of this formula. The bottom part of this formula, which is the percentage change in price, is calculated by getting the new price minus the old price, so P2 minus P1, divided by P1 times 100. Let's have a look at a numerical example. So, assume the price of soft drinks has risen from $1 to $1.10. Now, this rise in price leads to an increase in quantity supplied of soft drinks from 500 to 700 cans. So, again, a refresher, price elasticity of supply is percentage change in quantity supplied divided by percentage change in price. The percentage change in quantity supplied is using this formula. So we get the new quantity minus the old quantity divided by the old quantity times 100. 700 minus 500 divided by 500 times 100. This gives us a percentage change in quantity supplied of plus 40%. This means that the quantity supplied has increased by 40%. The bottom part of the formula, the percentage change in price, we take the new price minus the old price time, divided by the old price times 100. So 1.1 minus 1 divided by 1 times 100, this gives us a percentage change in price of plus 10%. This means that the price has risen by 10%. If you divide the plus 40%, by the plus 10%, this will give you plus 4. Now, what this number means is that for every 1% change in the price, quantity supplied responds by 4%. So if price rises by 1%, quantity supplied will rise by 4. If price falls by 1%, quantity supplied will, will fall by 4%. And this is what this number means. So, um, just like price elasticity of demand, price elasticity of supply, there is a range of values um, that we need to be familiar with. So, the first example is um, an example where you have a vertical supply curve. In this case, this is perfectly inelastic supply. That means the percentage change in quantity supplied is zero. Okay, Because the percentage change in quantity supplied is zero, and that is the top part of the formula, zero divided by any number will give us zero. So price elasticity of supply, when there's perfectly inelastic supply, price elasticity of supply is equal to zero. This means that supply is completely unresponsive to price. Supply is fixed. It does not change regardless of the level of price. Now, what about the situation of a horizontal supply curve? In this case, we say that supply is perfectly elastic. Here, the percentage change in price is equal to zero. So the bottom part of the formula is equal to zero. Anything divided by zero gives us infinity. So the price elasticity of supply will be equal to infinity. This means that supply is infinitely 
responsive to price. Supply is hypersensitive to price changes. If the price rises, even by a very small percent, quantity supplied will fall from infinity all the way to zero. That's how sensitive supply is to changes um, to price. So whenever we have a horizontal supply curve, we say that this is perfectly elastic supply and the price elasticity of supply will be equal to infinity. Now, what about a situation where you have relatively inelastic supply? So supply is not perfectly inelastic. It is relatively inelastic. This happens when you have a relatively steep supply curve. Um, price elasticity for supply in that case will be less than 1. So it will be a positive value, but it will be less than 1. And this is because the percentage change in quantity supplied will always be smaller than the percentage change in price. In this situation, we say that price elasticity of supply is relatively inelastic. Supply is relatively inelastic and the elasticity of supply will be less than 1. Now, in the situation of there being a higher percentage change in quantity supplied, or that is higher or greater than the percentage change in price, the price elasticity of supply in that case will be greater than 1. In this situation, we say we have a relatively elastic supply. Supply is quite responsive to changes to price, so much that the percentage change in quantity supplied will always exceed the percentage change in price. And you will have a relatively flat supply curve. In that case, we say that supply is relatively elastic and the price elasticity of supply will be greater than 1. Now, in the situation of the price elasticity of supply being equal to 1, this will happen when the percentage change in quantity supplied will always equal the percentage change in price. There's a proportionate change in quantity supplied that is proportionate or similar to the change in price. In this situation, we say we have unit elastic supply. And the supply curve will always pass through the origin. That's the most important thing um, for you to identify if the supply is unit elastic. The supply curve will always pass through the origin um, and it will obviously be a straight line passing through the origin. In that case, the percentage change in quantity supplied will always equal the percentage change in price and price elasticity of supply will always equal 1.